the 11th of September mm. when she dies and then I'm resigned, mm. now jobless. Gosh. And then I receive a very simple text on my phone. Mm. Yeah, you know, my, my woman tells me, you know what, I don't think I can do this anymore. I have had enough and I have to go. And I'm like, wait a minute, what the? Okay. Wait, that's, that's a watch. month after. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 I was about a, to say something so bad. That, like, that's a month after. Not a month. It's September. It's the same September. It's the same UAC. September. Yeah, 2020. That that very. It's everything was happening so first in a span of weeks and and <gasps> sometimes seconds and minutes and na, hours. Na, wait. Na mama alikuwa mesha, alikuwa mesha mpumzisha, ama, ama when she's saying, you know, I can't do this. Bado bado amjamaluzana na bari. Uh, welcome to the talk. It's been a long minute, but we're here. And today we are graced by this amazing talent. I'll let him introduce himself. Na kutokea po wa Yes? Karibu. Thank you. Yeah. watu wetu unaitwa nani? My greetings. My name is Reinhard Inzaibunke. Yeah, Reinhard means... Brave counsel. Bonke means calm you all. And Inzai is selfless. Yeah, I'm happy to be here and I'm looking forward to having fun time. Yeah. Let's laugh and crack a rib. <laughs> Where are you, Majina? At a minute, I'm going to break down my name like that. Like any for today, watch it again, Reinhard. And Maze, I'm so glad you're here. Mm -hmm. And come ye. Eh, okay. Uliwe uliza your parent why you got those names? Ama, cause where I come from, mm, you're given a name as in oh oh mezaliwa mm, dim mm -hmm. where ni mama ya baba. Mm -hmm. Uyu ni mama ya siju ya mama. So for you, were you named after someone or all three names? I got them right, yeah. Yeah. There were three names, yeah. Mm -hmm. All three names zilikuwa za. Mama tuku chagua ama baba. Uh, my, my name, Reinhard Bonke, is from the famous preacher. Hallelujah! <laughs> Kwa wale wadamjua. <laughs> yeah, yes. Inzai is uh, <clears throat> ancestral. Yeah, from my ancestral land. Yeah, which is? Which is, you'll know very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Yeah, fair uh -huh. enough, yeah. Uh -huh. mm. so I, I, never, I never thought it was important to ask because... Um, Nilizaliwa, nikapewa hayo majina, nikasikia ni mazuri, and we flow with it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Na, au kusikia kama kulikuwa na iyo anointing ya Reynard <coughs> Bonke kuhu. Hai, si Il... unipe biblia ujione. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Wow, alright, that's nice. Um, hmm. in, nzai, nzai. Hey, sinja isikia ujina mwanzo. Yeah, nzai. It's, it's, it's peculiar. Haina watu wengi. Sinja lisikia. Nijina ina watu wachache, ndo sisi. Na... Sasa, kwa sababu sisi tunatoka kwa uh, mtazamo fulani ya kwamba jina ukipewa now from the industry that at times we get to do stuff with yeah. the jina fulani, lina flow na mambo fulani. Mm -hmm. Kwa maisha yako, mm -hmm. uh, majina yale umepewa. Mm -hmm. uh, do they take part on your daily? Unaona, unajiona zin the things that uh, zinakuwa, yani yourself, selfless, yes? Yeah. And uh, umesema bibilia, Ayo ma, ayo, ayo mambo, ya nacheza kwa maisha yako hama? Yeah, 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 they do flow. <clears throat> they do flow a lot. Like, um, I believe I'm a brave counsel. That one I believe naturally. And uh, yeah, I I blend well with people around. You know, you can blend with anyone. Mtu aneza kuja kiswahili. Iyo yote tu ni sawa. Iyo yote tu ni sawa. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, they, they do work. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that, that's nice. That's nice. So we know Reynard Bonke as a good, good actor. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, maybe uh, we have our followers. Did you always want to act? Did you did you see yourself as an actor when you were coming up? Ama uh, what happened? Ukajipata kwa industry. Huh. All right. 
That's the longest story ever. Yes. <laughs> and that's why we're here. Yeah, it's a long journey. Um, when I when I did my my fourth form, mm-hmm. that is decades ago. Exactly. A long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, actually, my my greatest passion was military. Wow. Yeah. Okay. As you can see, it's just that I'm seated, guys. Otherwise, I'm kind of tall. He is yeah. tall. He's yeah. he's six one. And dark. Daily ni toka nini? T D H. Yeah, man. Let's see what he say, my yo. So um, uh-huh. when I finished, when I cleared my high school, my passion was military. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, and you know, because it was, you had to go there, yeah. right? And then you know, yeah, it happened, and that one will not be discussed live. And then um, I think I started acting in 2021. Wow. Yeah. Forget about whatever we used to do in high school and yes. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So officially in 2021. And uh, yeah, I must say it, it, came as a, it came as a blessing in disguise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because sometimes we do say that we have some profession that people go to mm-hmm. as an end of road. Yes. Beginner, right? True. But but I think um, for me, this was a beginning of a new season and a period that I was about to experience a totally different dimension about life and how things happen. God, that rain had exists and became somewhat different. Okay. And that was very fascinating. Very. Yeah, it was kind of so beautiful. Yeah. I felt so lost in it. And, and, and to date, there is nothing that fascinates me more than just being in front of a camera and just doing what I do. Wow. Yeah. That's so um, I didn't act when I was young. Mm-hmm. Started when I'm this old. Yes. But I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah. It's something I would want to do every day, every night, anytime. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing because... Kuna yule msanii atakwambia what do you mean nikiwa mdogo nilikuwa kwa points nilipofika hapa i was in mashahiri nikifika hapa nilifanya choral choral verses eh? yeah. i got i got that right sendo it was nitwa choral, choral verses. verses yes yeah. mm. nikifika hapa nikafanya so unaona eh okay hii ni growth huu mtu amefanya hii for a very long time but mm. for you it was different and you're loving it and uh, do you see yourself hata ukiwa miaka ya mbele still doing it This is this is what <clears throat> this is what I have chosen to do. Okay. Yeah. It's a choice. This is what I have chosen to do. It's um I have never gone to any acting school. I haven't been to any acting classes. Wow. Um I just it it happens naturally. It just comes. I think I have learned from YouTube and from different spaces on how to break down a script on how to understand a role and how to Um, to get out of my skin as Rainherd mm-hmm. and get into the skin of John, for example, if it's John Simber, mm-hmm. and forget Rainherd at home and bring a different person to a different facility. And you understand? Yes. And uh, <clears throat> my acting journey, to me, it might not make sense to anyone out there, yeah. but to me, it makes a lot of sense. And it uh, it's kind of testimonial to myself mm-hmm. because... Um, I remember when COVID hit mm. in 2020 yeah. and then uh, everything had gone into a recess. Yes. You remember that period, yeah. right? And then um, by then I was working as a, a banker. Yeah. Hey, see, you got a when he layers. You got an offer. You got an offer. Okay, uh-huh. Yeah. So I was um I was working as a banker back then and um Then comes September 2020. Yeah. September 2020. And uh, things kind of fall apart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I think every human being, every human being has a point in life where they hit the rock. And they feel like from there, you do not know what is going to happen in your tomorrow. True. Not even a second away from where you're standing. Exactly. And this is this is a point where most of our brothers and sisters would feel like giving up and because trust me Deborah, I have come to live in periods and in seasons where you feel like your soul and your body are separate. You understand? 
Yeah, like um, your body is walking here and your soul is walking here. They, they don't align. Completely separate stuff. So um, it comes 2020 is here. <clears throat> All along, I had an ailing mom that oh, was. So sorry uh, about that. No, it's, 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 it's nothing bad. I mean, it's, uh, it's life. We have yeah. to accept what comes, right? Yeah. So it, it, it hits a point where she is uh, bedridden and incapacitated completely. Yeah, like memory loss and stuff like that. And she cannot work. She cannot. So at work, I have two choices. I have either to resign and go back and look after her. Or I have just to let her be and continue working. You know, that is September 2020. Yeah. Wow. So I made a choice of res resigning. I did my resignation. It's mm -hmm. still in my email. It is my testimony. I will never delete that. Yeah. So I did the resignation yeah. on the third um, of September, September 2020. Two. Yes. And then, uh, you know, the 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 the, the handover processes, you are handing over stuff. So on Thursday, tenth, around uh, eight p.m. in the night, mm -hmm. I pick my call and I call her because I want to tell her that you know what, Mama, I'm coming home. So that I, I just want to take care of you. What, were you were you in the same county or? In this, no, 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 no. Two, uh, 363 kilometers away from each other. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a long term it's a long term uh, decision. So it happens um, that this Thursday I pick my call. I make a call. She doesn't pick. The person that is with her doesn't pick because someone has to pick. Then I'm with okay. mm. Then we talk. So it's not picked. Wait, and now uh, she was suffering memory loss, or she was, or she could no because understand. because of her yeah 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 the voice she ah. could just listen to the voice sometimes but she could call you different names yes because it's hard to tell who's who who's who but the conversation would just flow yeah would just flow yeah yeah even if she calls me my younger brother I would just go yeah 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 but you know, yeah, 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 yeah the conversation just yeah, flows yeah. yeah. So um, when I make a call and then it happens that um, ha, it's, it's not picked. So I'm like, okay, anyway, I'm going home. So no it's need. Okay, I'm just yeah. going to make a surprise visit. Like, boom. Yeah. 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 Then on Friday uh, 11th, around 8 in the morning, I receive a call that uh, she's flying with the angels. And I was like, wait a minute. What did you just say? What? You say, who? Yeah. So um, I resigned on 3rd. She died on the 11th of uh, that very month, September, September 2011, 2020, 2020. 2020. Yeah. and then um, 2020, I was 11 year old in marriage by wow. 2020, yeah? Eh. Yes, I'm a legend, I'm a legendary. What? Yeah. You should respect so. our elders. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, so... Um, the lifespan of this 11 years of marriage, I don't know, to date, I have never understood. <clears throat> I don't try to understand because not everything is meant to be understood anyway. True. So uh, in 2020, on the 11th of September, mm. when she dies, and then I'm resigned, mm. now jobless, Gosh. and then I receive a very simple text on my phone. Mm. Yeah, and I'm my... My woman tells me, you know what? I don't think I can do this anymore. I have had enough and I have to go. And I'm like, wait a minute, what the? Okay. Wait, that's, that's a watch. month after. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 I was that's about a, to say something so bad. That, like, that's a month after. Not a month. It's September. It's the same September. It's the same UAC. September, yeah, 2020. That, that very, it's, everything was happening so fast in a span of weeks and, and <gasps> sometimes seconds and minutes. Na, hours. Na, wait. Na mama alikuwa mesha, alikuwa mesha mpumzisha. Ama, ama, when she's saying, you know, I can't do this. Bado, bado, amjamaluzana na burial arrangement. This is 11th of September. Yes. Mama is buried on the 19th. Okay. It's way far before. Yeah. It's here. Wow. Yeah. So, um. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, as a human being, I sit and I ask myself, okay, so this is real. This is this is the reality of the situation right here, and um, I expected a lot from from people. Yes, like you've always been there for everyone in your yes. life. Yes, yeah. 
somebody calls you, they need 40,000. If you have, you'd give. They need 10,000. If you have, you'd give. But now I'm finding myself in a very deep fix. And I'm, and I'm, um, have you ever been in an ocean and you're swimming and you're trying to, to find and you're gasping for mm. air and, and you're feeling like you're drowning? Yeah. You don't know what to do. You're trying to figure out. You can't see no, no, yeah. no seashells. You, you understand? can't hold on to anything. You can't hold on to anything. That is how I felt at that time. So I sit and I tell myself, you know what? I have to be the stronger one here. Yeah, we have to face this. So after that, after all this happened, mm. and then uh, she was buried, and then I sit back, I come back to Nairobi, and I realize that my house has been locked. Kwa <laughs> sababu <laughs> yeah. ya, ya, ya rent. Yeah, or... I, 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 I focused my finances towards some medical bills because they were kind of very expensive. Yes. Yeah, I mean, she was diabetic. She was a lot. There was so much happening to her at the same time. And, you know, when, when sometimes when we say, <clears throat> let me tell you this. Sometimes when we say, rest in peace, I don't think we do understand. We, we don't. No, I don't think we do understand. We Even for when, when, you, when you've lost a loved one. Yeah. We do say rest in peace because it's a norm. Yes. But, but there's no peace. There's no peace. It's a norm. Yeah. Until, until I actually, this was the first death in our home. Oh, God. Yeah, I had never experienced anything like death that. Death on, yes. on close range, yes, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. So when it happened, yes. for the first time, I took a very deep breath when I was called on the phone. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah. Now, this is the exact meaning of rest in peace. Because I, I imagined from 2016, when she became very much incapacitated and completely sick mm. to the time of death, and I realized that she needed that death more than life. That is me as a son, as a human being. And I was like, oh, okay, I think this is the real meaning of rest in peace. Because yeah. the peace that has come, I, I would imagine where her soul was, yes. it felt, <sighs> I have rested. I think that's very deep because you rest in peace. You know, also, the living needs peace. Yeah. Now. And and because that's a mzazi amepumzika, alikuwa naumia. Yes, yes. Na wewe pia, kuna vile uikuwa naumia. Yeah, you are, you are, you, you, you are, you are a walking pain. Yes. So, sahizi kuna kwa na ile balance. Yes, we've lost our loved one. Yeah. But kuna balance ya peace. Maybe for, for the living, not immediately, because kuna that anxiety of separation. Mm. But uh, uko hapo like, ata kama, it, it, it's better this way. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. And... Wow, that, that, that week was a lot for yeah, you. Yeah, that week was a lot. And then, um, so when we, when the burial is done, mm. and you see at this moment, I don't even have the strength to begin calling and asking, why, why, why are you leaving, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I need your support. I was like, you know what? It's okay. Because if, if I have the strength to send somebody to the grave, I think I can deal with the pain of somebody just walking out. Mm. That's, it's manageable, right? Yeah, so it happens, then we come back to Nairobi and they're like, you know what, da, 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 your house is locked. And I'm like, okay, so this is real. 